Greetings YouTube, this is Jared with Omnivore Blade Works. I wanted to, sh it's uh, April 26th or 7th, Sunday. I um, wanted to do a progress report for you. Tried a Parkerizing batch just to sample to see how it would do as a, either a final finish or a primer for our tomahawks and swords and such. Um, these two are austempered 1095, and then this little guy is one that I made one off, which is um, mar tempered. And uh, the finish is pretty good. It's, I think it's a manganese phosphate. Um, and then I've been doing some seracoding and some logos. So I've got a couple green swords, a sniper gray sword, and uh, a couple black ones in the oven right now. And so some of these things are going to get finished up before too long and um, shipped out. Also have some coyote or dark earth that need to have logos put on. And uh, of course sheaths made and handles made. I'm going to show you now in the main shop how I'm going to go about making handles. I have um, been able to get the CNC router to make my two dimensional blanks with tabs which I can then break out of a, uh, a sheet of my carta so that I can do quite a few handles in one sheet and I can just walk away from it and then when the cycle is done I can just break them out of a sheet and then it, it leaves me live with a piece like that tan my carta right there um, then I guess I'll show you the oven Baking some tomahawks right now and a sword, uh, graphite black, and then my handle making setup. I'm I'm making some new jigs. This is an old jig that I had to use uh, to do one side of tomahawk, but the uh, I made this downdraft arrangement so that I could collect most of the micarta dust. And the way I did this, also I'm making it so it's a little easier to control the router operation so that instead of having the router just purchase on a blank itself like this, it's going to be down in a pocket so that the whole table is constraining the router and all a person has to do is just drive it around the uh, the template, which is made out of steel, and then um, it's going to move material a lot faster and then trying to depend on the CNC to do all that work. So I've got three different routers. I've got a quarter round over bit and a chamfer bit for the front section up here of the handle and then the elliptical, custom elliptical router bit that I had made to do the main contour. Um, moving on to my workbench I guess. You can see I've got baby crows that are unfinished and I'm just using little baby crow handles as a filler in, um, in my cut nests with the micarta handles. And um, there's just a few things here that I'm going to be working on before too long. Um, nothing's going on in the grinding room right now, uh, but on the computer, I've got some new stuff. This is my design layout for the next batch. So, at the very bottom left, I've got Arctotus, which is a big-ass sword, and then a new, um, sawback, it's more of a hookback Kodiak sword, where you just grab a hold of stuff instead of trying to actually saw it. And the next above that is sort of an updated version, a cross between my little Horabilis and maybe an Arctos. So this may be the new Arctos buoy. Um, and then the Americanus Parvis on top of that. And then the new Murder 2, which is the two-hander. And then above that, we've got the Raven. And then the new Tanuki. And... That's Tanuki Katana, Tanuki Waki, and Tanuki Tanto. And then over here I've got the Direwolf on top, and then a D-Guard version, Megalodon, 
and then I got the Amamba, Anubis, and Jackal. So I'm hopefully going to cut out all those in the next batch here in another couple weeks so I can bring some of the new stuff to the Blade Show in uh, the beginning of June. So that's uh, what's on the plate. I've got things in the blasting cabinet, a bunch of jackals getting ready for uh, coating ETA and ETA Scout Tomahawks. This is my paint booth area, um, my paint mixing station. Um, nice cordless drill to do my stirring with. And there's a, some things right here that are going to that are OD base coats that I need to get camouflaged. And then, actually, I do have something in the grinding room that's kind of interesting. I was needing to do a, a roundover operation on the corners of my tangs. And so I took this rubber wheel from a KMG small wheel attachment and I cut a little radius into the wheel so that I could put the corner in that little radius a notch and then get a more consistent um, basically a fillet on the on the tang of the knives. So I feel stupid that I didn't come up with this sooner but it worked pretty well and you can see this is a a knife that I'm trying to help some friend with with uh, Derex WorkSharp as a promotional item. So uh, I rounded over the tang on these guys with that that wheel and a 220 grit uh, J Flex belt. Uh, that's all about I have right now. Um, the CNC router is down because the optical sensor screwed up. It ran into the or I ran it into the spindle. You can see some copper in there. I know the light's not very good, but it just fudged it. It was sticking in there and it, it ran all the way into the spindle and wore out. So, um, hopefully I'll have that back up and running next week and I can make some more handles and make new fixtures for handle production and keep on moving forward. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me a jingle if you need uh, questions answered and um, if you also if you need a dust collection system for your um, miter box saw if you have this particular saw I can help you figure out how to do that because boy it was a, it was something that's very much needed I even got a foot switch anyway uh, lots of things going on see you next time